Okay, so recently someone asked, how do you bring the labels back if you float the mouse over the buttons? Like, for example, I mean, it interacts and they highlight, but maybe someone accidentally turned them off. So to answer that question is, you're here, you're in the F14 cockpit, and, I mean, I'm highlighting all this stuff, but they're not, there's no menus coming up, so what does it do, right? I mean... I want to bring those back so so what you want to do is you want to be in the cockpit and then you hit escape and you go to general options and in general options you go all the way down here to accessibility and it will say menu tooltips instrument name tooltips now you can turn them on you can have it instant delayed off on instant on off so I have it set right now to off if I put it back on. And if it's on instant and I hit apply and save, see I turned it to on. Menu tooltips on, instrument name, tooltips to instant. And I hit apply and save and I go back and I hit resume. And now my tooltips should be back. Yep, there they are. Uh, see, landing gear. I mean, that should say fuel cut off, but I don't know why it doesn't. Over here... Takeoff mode, turn on. Weather mode, turn on. So my tooltips are back. Throttle's there. Flaps is there. See, and it's instant. And if I wanted to change it, I'd go back to general options. And then I would go back here again to accessibility. And instead of instant, um, now we have instrument description tooltips. You can turn that on too, where it says instant delayed so this is where your tool tips are and you can hit apply and save and hit go back and resume and there it'll tell you exactly what they are and we're still not seeing the fuel cut off hmm. so I mean that's where the settings are for the tool tips um, for the cockpit and again if I hit escape then I go to general options and I go to accessibility um, I can set it to delayed I can set it to delayed. Um, it's either on or off. And I can hit apply and save and hit go back and hit resume. And now, I mean, there's supposed to be a slight delay. But here you go, and I guess there is a slight delay. And your tooltips are back. So if you, like, don't remember everything in the cockpit, which a lot of us don't, um, that's how you would do that. And uh, this was a two-part question, and so the other part of the question was, um, how do I change the names on the plane um, or in the cockpit? So I'm not exactly sure what we were talking about with that um, on how we change the names um, on the cockpit. Um, so as far as I know, you really can't edit these scripts. Um, if you wanted to change the language, I know there is a way to change the language um, just on your PC to your language, if that's what you're talking about. But if you are talking about how do I change the names on the cockpit, well, I mean, if you're talking about these two names um, right here on the uh, canopy... Um, there is no way to, there's no function in the game, no button you can push that changes the names on the canopy. Um, the only thing you can do, and let's go ahead and zoom out. The only thing you can do to change the names on the canopy is to have a custom livery with your pilot name on the canopy. Um, or to edit the livery that you're currently using. Um, even as of Sim Update 8, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator does not provide you the opportunity to change the names on the canopies. Um, it just lets you on certain general avi aviation aircraft um, that are programmed a certain way, it lets you change the tail number. Um, so if you want to change the names in the cockpit, you have to have a custom livery. You can do them yourself. Um, there's plenty of uh, artists and livery makers that would be happy to do a commission to change the cockpit name for you. Some of them might even do it for free. 
Um, but yeah, you would actually have to change that in the art file. So I hope this answered your question, and I look forward to seeing you in the sky.